to see if it actually turns on first. All right, can anyone hear me? I'm gonna guess not. Okay, this is a key what? This is Q and A on uh, Ater Asha. No, not talking to you. Um. I'm gonna explain about the game that what's different from um, the older. S no, I cannot increase this any higher. Just a little. Just a little. Okay, let's see. Okay, fine. Let's see. Um, I don't know. Why to all our forks? Microphone. Here we go. Fifty percent. Okay. Anyways, this is a Q and A on uh, out here, Asha. I'm gonna explain the systems and other other stuff. If you have any questions, uh, go ahead. Before I start, and we can ask about the theme. This is a limited dish, uh, limited edition version, so I can't really just give it to you. Yeah, that means you, LL. You want the theme? I can't really give it to you. Okay, I guess not. I'm just gonna go ahead and start. No, first of all, this this uh, this is not uh, this is not our land series. This is a straight up new series. So there is absolutely no returning characters. This these are all this is all brand new characters. No pies. Then uh, there's no pie reference. It's all bread reference. Maybe just just turn on down the volume on this and turn it up on here. So I can hear myself too. Just make sure. There we go. So I'm just gonna let the uh, opening just go through. Oh, 
始まる。Yeah, so yeah, that's the opening for you. There's not much, and the main menu, there's nothing much or not either. Just new game, load, extra, and options. I am not gonna go into extras, I guess it has some spoiler stuff inside it. And options,、uh, nothing new, just, you know, oops, that's right. Options, nothing much there, just change some options. Then I believe there's my. Oops. Where is it? Select or start? Gotta remember, this is,、uh, this is circle. And then you have. If you have the DLC, you can get the options for changing costumes. I do. I really don't think the US version is gonna get this, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. That's clear game. That's too close to the ending. So, is there anything you guys want me to explain to first, or am I just gonna do anything by myself? Or Bob's just gonna link、um, uh, Davaru's、uh, picture all day. Alright, I guess I'll just go through the basics. Well, it's, it's probably a good idea. It's probably a good idea to have multiple multiple saves、uh, if you think you're gonna screw up. But、uh, no, one save is, is enough. Oh my no! Uh, but having more than one save is not a bad idea, but you only really need one save. Because、uh, when you go to the when you come to the ending, unlike the、um, unlike mute, unlike the predecessors, you can actually choose your ending. So if you get every single ending, you can choose every single ending within that one save file. So yeah, you don't really need more than one save in this game. There's no,、uh, nothing, unlike Miru, you don't really need、uh, a clear save file, so yeah. Yeah, there is no ending, there's no、uh, messing around with ending priorities anymore. You don't have to worry about that stuff anymore. The, near the ending, they'll ask you questions about,、uh, about uh, what ending you want. Well, kind of. It's kind of.、Um, you you know when you see it. But yeah, that's、uh, that's how the endings are worked out. There is no ending priority. While there are still there are still requirements to trigger it, you don't have to worry about、um, about、uh, having to keep multiple save files to just get、uh, just that one ending. All right. Is there anything else you guys need to know before before I continue? Can I go ahead and heal Bob and just keep digging my dog room for you? Uh, ah, forget it. Not really going to work. All right, I'm just gonna go through the alchemy alchemy system. It's、uh, pretty different from uh, from Miru. Hmm. Unlike、uh, Miru, there's actually not a lot of items. Uh, like this is all the bomb items you're gonna get. This is all the heal items you're gonna get, which、uh, also have the food as well. Um, the other stuff. You know all that stuff. I'm just gonna gotta do that. All the、uh, materials are identical from each other, so I'm just gonna do one. Like、issue. all of this are identical to themselves. All the raw materials are identical to, identical to themselves. Whatever you synthesize will be different from each other. 
dependent on if you don't do the same order. But uh, for, unlike uh, the like the, the Arlan series, the whoops, did I hit that. The unlike the Arlan series, there is no randomized traits. So all the I all the when you see that one raw item, they will all have that same trait. Of course, in this there's the stuff. There's the worry about actually making the items that will have different traits. I'm just gonna do something random so I can actually start uh, the alchemy system. Triangle? Triangle? What triangle? What triangle? What does a tri- What does triangle and X uh, one item? What do they mean? I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't see it. Oh, on the recipe selection, that's what you mean. The triangle means you can, uh, you can make the item, but you have to make the uh, other item for it first. So like, like here, this is a triangle, a triangle um, recipe. That means uh, I can't make this item, but I require to make another item for it first. I am not gonna answer that question, but whatever. Uh, like here, I'm gonna go ahead and make this item. So uh, I can go do something else first. And X, uh, there should be one more item here somewhere. Or maybe there's not. Maybe I, can make, maybe I can make every item. Okay, I can make every item, but uh, the point... Uh, when, when you have it in X, that means you cannot make the item. You do not have the materials or the recipe for it. So you have to either gather the material or recipe to actually make the item. So that's how that that how, that's how it runs. So I'm going to go ahead and make this item. Something random. And then, once you select it, find it, what? Yeah, just sit down, okay? Nick? Okay, whatever. Uh, once you select your, selected your items for the, the rest of your ingredients, you uh, select uh, how, how many you want to make. As you can see, there. I guess I'm gonna use the mouse. Here, there's, uh, there's, a, there's these, um, there's these uh, numbers. The first one would be number number of days it would take to make it. The second one is what day would it be when, by the time you end, by when you end making all these items. I kind of forgot, oh yeah, this one is the quantity of how many you'll get. And I kind of forgot what this one does. Because I didn't really consider it important. So I don't want to read that kanji. Uh, what the heck? That's too much work. Oops. Um. Uh, anyways, that's uh, what this one is. This one is the number of days it takes to make. This one's the ending day. It was the ending day when you make it. Uh. This is the number of quantities you get. Most items you will get more than uh, every every item. Every item you should get at least one. The number of days it takes. So there is no nothing like a point uh, two or point five. Uh, all that. Um, three years. The game gives you three years to finish the game. Alright, I'll go ahead and make this item. Um, and then here, you choose There's uh, extra options. I'm go ahead and choose this one first because it's not important. This one is kind of like uh, kind of like auto. It will just do it by itself. I'll explain why it does this. I'll in a bit. I'm just gonna let it go ahead and do its stuff. Okay. 
Alright, and then you select where you want to put in a basket or a container. And then now I'm gonna make this item itself. Okay. There we go. And now you can use this other option. This one's a bit more this one's a bit uh, bit more in, in the customization stuff. As you see now I can choose what items I want to put in any order I want. This is actually rather important in the alchemy system. Like I can choose this. Then this. This. Then this. And this this that and the traits uh, would be like that. But let's say I did something else. Like let's just go with this. Actually, I don't think it'd be different, you guys. Uh, it's just too hard. It's just too hard to remove that. But uh, and then I'll go to the second menu. These are ex oh, I didn't unlock the last one yet. Okay, whatever. Um, what's your last one? So is that? And then these are mixing skills. One of the, uh, they all do something different. I can't remember what they all do. It's going to take me a bit of time to remember. One of them is a repeat, one of them adds more um, more points in here for your next bonus, right here. And uh, one will... Um yeah, okay, whatever. Uh, Kenzo kind of got that. So I'm just gonna use this first. This will increase the cost, I believe. So I'll just pick something, put the cost in. This will increase the cost by 15. Then it increases here. Oh, uh, yeah. And then you could use this. To, to erase one of the traits you don't like, so let's use that. Erase it, and then you put in something new. And then I'm gonna use this. Yeah, I remember what the last one is. So I think this one is. That last one's the coffee one. Every, every time you copy, it, co it increases the amount of it increases the, uh, the cost. The CP here. This is how much you can actually mix before you run out. The one in the middle. Let me think. What happens to the one in the middle? I believe this one goes into the item itself. This one is um, this one is kind of like for weapon for weapon based weapon trees weapon based trees, I believe. Or items. I'm just gonna make it and find out. Put that in. Yes. There we go. I don't remember what the black one does in the middle, but the uh, one to the very, very, very right goes to the item. Okay. Is this, I haven't played this for a long time, okay? That's uh, really ba that's really the basics of the alchemy mm. system. Um, is there any, is there anything you guys want to know in particular? And if you have to know the the dark oak ones means you haven't made it yet. It's just it's kind of I think uh, I think uh, Miru is like that. The dark oak ones are the ones you haven't made yet. Customize my item. That is um, it's kind of lame. It's pretty. It's really lame. It's really lame. It's uh, it's ridiculously lame. It's ridiculously lame. Um, okay, sure. Okay, sure. Okay. I don't want to go through that, but okay. Where is it? Here. You make these to make your. You make these to make your make your weapons, okay? Right? And then you make these to make your armor. So I'm go ahead and make one. Uh, out of random. Alright, can you see I made that item? And now I have to go find it. I think I left it in here. Yep, here it is. Then you just click on it, use 
put it on the item you want. I'm just gonna use an item I don't use. And just, you know, just overlay it, and yeah, there you go! There's your, there's your customized items! Yeah! Yeah, I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like it. Where's the, where's the blacksmith? I'm not being sarcastic. I don't really like the, I really hate the uh, customization weapon system. It's pretty lame. Yeah, that's about it. That's about it. It's 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 lame. I don't like it. It's 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 really lame. I don't like it. All right. So anything else? Uh, the same thing applies to armor. So the same thing also applies to armor. So yeah, that's how you that's how you customize your weapon. Now, how you get the weapons? You uh, you farm for it. You look for the monster. You farm for it. That's how you that's how you find your weapons. Yeah, that's also lame. Yeah, that's also lame. I don't like it either. So yeah, that's how... So yeah, you don't use a blacksmith. There is absolutely no blacksmith in this game. You are the blacksmith. Except you don't make the weapons, you have to go find the weapons. So yeah, that's the one thing I don't like about that. It's, uh, it's the weapon customization. It's, uh, I don't like it. It's pretty bad. I think it's pretty bad. I really think it's pretty bad. Right there, he's back too late. Second. Okay, Alright, uh, like I said before, this also applies to armor, so... That's how you customize your weapons and uh, armor. So, would you guys like to know anything else before I continue? I think I covered the most basic of alchemy. I'm just not going to, uh... Go to the stupid uh Yeah, there's no blacksmith. You're pretty much the blacksmith who has to find the weapons themselves and then you customize the weapon. That's why I think we really like that's why I actually hated the weapon the, the uh, black the weapon customization system. That's why I didn't find it no fun and decide not to bother with weapons weapon armor. Um I think I just covered that. There's some basic events, like as you see, up here there's an event going on right now. It's, I believe this one's the Bazaar. This one is a limited time, um, a limited time event. Uh, it happens from time to time. And hit, during that time, there's cer certain stores open. I hope I don't really go into some cutscenes, then I'm gonna have to skip it. Yup, I hit a cutscene, okay. Skip! Oh my god, it's an, it's an event I haven't seen before. Okay, sure, whatever. I'll look at it later. Yes, that's a swimsuit DLC. Oh my god, there's still more to this. Okay, I guess, I'll, I guess I really have to keep going with this game at some point later. Okay, yeah, I didn't see that coming. Alright, I'll have to look into that later. And I get a trophy. Okay. Oh, I, didn't, I, I really didn't expect that, so okay. I really did not expect that. Okay, I did not expect that. So, I'm going back out there again. Oops, okay. Yeah, I didn't. I absolutely did not expect that. There we go. As you see, now right now is the uh, right now is a bazaar. So there are stores, certain stores that open, like this one. This is one of your party members that has a store. You know, you can you can buy stuff. You can buy stuff. You can also like uh, like registration. You can also register. It. Oh, that's not it. Where is it? This one here. Okay, here. This one. You can register your items. Um, and they'll have it. They'll have it up in store. Um, on their next, uh, on the next time. So I'll just put this here, and they'll copy it for you. And then next, the next, next time you, uh, next, 
Uh, I think it's the next day. They'll have more copies of it later. So I'm just gonna leave that there. Like that's one store. Actually, most stores are like most stores are on the street or like that. Like this one too. I believe there's two outside. The normal stores are located not here. Yeah, I kind of. They're not Pamela stores. They're not like they're not like available all the time. Their normal stores can do it too. Like here, uh, this this is a, this is the general store. I'll put by here. As you see, these are these are items I've made, and she has copies of it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and buy it, and then it'll disappear. Oh wait, that's not it. That's, that's bizarre items. Uh, that's not it. That's the bizarre items. What the hell? There we go. Here we go. This uh, no, that's not it. Um, these are the bizarre items. The blue ones. Uh, not the bizarre items. They're the contest items. Okay, I can't remember where it is. I think I have some. I think I have some items in Fred's store. No, that's not it. That's Harry. Fred. Yeah, this this kind of, this kind of goes to show how long I haven't played this game. Oh, that's because you're how long I haven't played this game. Here we go. Alright, she he should have some items. He doesn't. What have we doing in this last three years? What the hell am I doing in this last three years? Oh here we go, this is the menu. This is the menu where you go buy the items. Oh here we go. Yeah, pretty much all stores can has uh pump has a Pamela store. They all take certain items and then they'll take it and then dupe it and then you can buy it for some ex some uh, ridiculous amount of price. Um, is there anything you guys need to know about the towns? Um, okay, start with uh, there what? are lots of towns. Uh, unlike uh, unlike um, the Arland series where they have one or two towns, this one. Um, this one has multiple towns. I'm gonna have to go out the city, I think. Um, yeah, put that away. I'm gonna have to go out the city so I can travel to them faster. There, I mean, if you wonder about the random uh, encounters during the map, there is none. Also, you will see a bunch of people on the on the, on the map. They're they're pretty much the same. They're stores. There's also events that can occur with them. Ah, uh, uh, unlike these ones, you can these will not uh, do any items. They do have some exclusive items such as this. So I'm going to go ahead and buy that what now. And they have some items that you may want. So it's up to you if you want to meet them or not. What? I'm going to go ahead and just uh, go to another town. Like here's a town. Oh yeah, maybe I should explain the world map, world map a bit more. Uh, there are there are straight lines and dotted lines. There are straight lines and dotted lines. Straight lines are like new, straight up new maps, uh, new areas. Dotted lines are like dungeons. You like you travel through them all you want, and they're all dungeons. Like here, you can see I can go through all of that, and it will take me no days because this is all one dungeon. Like I can go in here right now and um, just travel inside, and it'll be one dungeon. Ah, oh, fuck! I didn't see that coming. <laughs> what is that coming? Uh. Oh, 
Oh, anyways, I think that was pretty much it for the world map anyways. The, it's not very different. There is, um, it's kind of like, uh, like the older series. There are locations you cannot meet because you cannot. And, um... What else is there? And the only real difference is between the white lines and dotted lines. Like I said, the dotted lines are like areas that are connected to each other. So you can travel through the whole dungeon within one within for no days at all. And the white lines are different areas from each other. Um what also is there anything I need to explain about the world map? That, the world map is pretty simple, really. It's nothing in there. It's just a little big compared to the older games. If you want to call it big. Um, HP? HP in here is pretty low. Even uh, with the best gear, it's still rather low. I believe if you really want the, if you want the best gear, as I told you, I hated the... Uh, the customers, the weapon customers, weapon armor customization, station. So I didn't even bother with it. So it, w uh, so you can say mine would be like default, sort of default, kind of like default. And I believe the max HP you can get, technically, is like five hundred, depending on your uh, party composition. And uh, like older games, uh, like older games, level 50 is the max level. Miru is kind of the exception to that, where you could get to a level 100. So I say this, if you're worried about my HP, this, I would say this is actually the normal. Your nor this is your normal HP. So yeah, you, uh, if your defense isn't high, you're, you're, you're gonna get one-shotted very, very quickly. This is why while was I while I was playing, I kind of valued defense much higher than everything else. So whenever I saw a plus defense, I just kind of you know stacked it on top of it. I didn't really care, I didn't really care if it's better trade or not. And I think that was. Um, I don't. Is there anything I need to explain in particular? I haven't gone through the battle system yet, so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna explain that later. But um, is there anything you guys need to know that's not about the battle system? Because I can't think of anything really. What what is there what's there to explain that's not about the battle system? Menu, menu. Won't this all be in English anyways? Um, uh, container. Yeah, you can access the container if you have a certain item. Kind of like Yuru. Friend levels? Yes, friend levels do have something to do outside the battle system. First of all, they do nothing outside the battle system. They all have to do with events. Your friend level requires... The, the, the friend level is required for all your events. Like Yuru, the max amount you need is 80. But uh, I, don't see, I don't see why you don't. Put it to 100. There is. You have enough. You definitely have it. Even in your. Uh, even in a perfect run, you have enough time to get all your friends to to 100. To uh, 100. There is. Uh, there's no real reason not to. Anyways, this is container. This is. How do you raise friend level? You keep them in your party. You travel. Um. Uh, that's it. You. There, there is unlike. Um, oh yeah, I didn't. I didn't explain the request system because I've already did it all in this game. Um, I guess I'll go to a load, different load. There, there is unlike Miru, unlike Miru, uh, the Arland series. There is, they don't have any. Um, they don't have requests for themselves. So the only way you can increase their friend level is to just have them in your party and just walk around. Of course, that's dumb and just a lot of waste of time. So. You kind of like uh, just keep it in your party until you got the you got the desired love desired friend level you want, and then you kind of switch them for somebody else. So there is so there is no uh, easy there's no easy plus plus.
plus friend level plus friend level like they had in uh, the Arlan series. You kind of have to like you know keep on your party, just let them chill, and then like you know do stuff with them. There's yeah, there's no easy there's no easy way out from the friend levels. Is there anything guys anything else you guys want to know? Uh, I haven't gone through the I haven't gone through the um, through the menus yet. Have I? Um, this one's basket. Nothing simple. This one's um, what was it? Equipment. You can change your equipment. And then uh, Miru has a different that one. Only only two sleeves for her. Kind of like Miru. Um, uh, these are like uh, search items. Searching items. These uh, all all equipment will um. Uh, Will um, what was it? All all your equipment will uh will appear in the new game, so you don't have to worry about. Un so not like um, what's this? Are you going to be? When are you going to beat this game? I've already beaten the game. There was a there is a limited edition in Japanese, but that's definitely sold out by now. The English version, I I actually took no time to look at it because I already had the Japanese version. So yeah, and they had no uh, Japanese uh, voiceover, so I didn't really bother with that. Um. All right, I'm gonna go. I guess I'll go through the items now. Um, here. Let's, I'll just use my weapon for for example, rank A. That means that's uh, how good the item is right now. I believe it's a rank S. I don't think I ever made it because you know I'm being lazy. And then there's just the quality, the quality of it. Uh, how how good the item is. Can't remember what this number is. The item level. Then your the your typical stats. How difficult is this? Um. It's um, it's uh, the game's pretty easy. How how do I compare? How difficult it is compared to our land? Um, I think it's easier than our land. That's for sure. The graph. All right, this is uh, your kind of like um, sub traits. Um, like uh, how do I pull the traits up on this again? Traits, traits. Here, here it is. No, nope, that's not it. This this you're like your sub traits. This uh, I should have said that in the, in the alchemy alchemy section. During the alchemy, you have these elements. All these elements uh, uh, put a value into your into the alchemy. So let's see. I put this one in. This would have a quality of uh, 98 quality, and then and then it'll add 60 points of earth into the earth element into the game uh, into the item. So yeah. Uh, how difficulty and figure out how to, how to how to how to work the system? I would say this is actually easier than uh, Miru because all the alchemy stuff is um, pretty basic. Because all the unlike Miru where they had randomized traits, this one has absolutely no randomized traits. So that's kind of a give hate thing. I hate it. Other people love it. <laughs> Rev no. Um, let, and let's and then um, let's say I, like I said, if I added this, it will give no water, no fire, no um, what is it? What what is this? Wind, wind. Yeah, this is wind. And it will add 60 earth to the item. Now these kind of um, now these item now these uh uh take a fire. It get gets fired into the end to the end end result of the item. Like uh, let's say uh, I'll go to one of my basket items like here. Um, here we go. Uh, I guess this is good enough. Like here, you can see 60, 60 quality, 10, uh, 10 water, uh, 35 earth. But if I add, had added added this into the item instead, this this would be the this uh, would be the value that would have been added to the new item. Um, is there anything I'm? Miss Do you have any helpers? No, no helpers. Forget about helpers. You're not gonna get any. Y'all, you're doing it all by yourself. No helpers. You got. 
if you want to call Pamela store a helper, I guess I ca I guess I, I guess you can call it that. Yeah, there's no- Yeah, basically you're gonna get no helpers. It's very, very important during the alchemy system. Now, because it, it determines the, um... What what can what the idol can what the idol can do what they what will have and what it won't have, like uh, example for bombs if you have lots of fire uh, it has a lot of fire it will most likely do fire damage unless the bomb simply says it's going to do ice damage like um, like this like this is going this one is definitely going to do ice damage and I don't know how you can get fire in this so I won't say anything about that and like here this is my other bomb there's lots of lots of fire in it. Now, so yeah, I would say the trait, the uh, element, the element trait, the elements is very, very important while making items. So you kind of have to consider, it, put that into consideration when you make, make things that are like uh, alchemy items. You don't have to work. Yeah, there's still a, u there's still a limited usage. As you see, all of this only have one usage. Like well, besides that one there. See, as you see, they all have limited usage. And some of them have a few, so this means I can use this three times. Um, all of this has one. All bombs will not have any uh, multiple multiple usage. All bombs will have only one usage. All healing items will only have one one usage. I kind of forgot what uh, these are. Just um, these are just random. I random ones I picked up. So yeah, there. Now I think about it. There is no limited usage. They all have one usage. Once you use it, you won't get it back. So yeah, there you go. One usage for all your items. You're looking at the max amount. You're looking at the max amount right now. 120 back, back in space. So you kind of have. So if you go, you had, you had, you're gonna have to figure out how you're gonna equalize your uh, items and your. Uh, All right, all right. Here we go. Now, now this this is actually the easy part. Basic basic space is actually not a problem. As you can see, as I said, all items have one usage. Now here's the thing: all your alchemy items are all stacked on top of each other. So you can have like 900 and 999 of this in your basket. It will not take any any more space than one. I am pretty sure. All right, uh, let's find out. Yeah, as you see, I just took a, I just put away three, and it only took one basic space away. Yeah, they, they, because they have no more randomized. Uh, okay, let's say you use a synthesized item. Those will definitely take more space. But if you use something like a raw item, uh, let's let me find an item with lots of it. Yeah, here we go. Um, put it all in the basket. As you see, it only took one space, and I have 62 of it inside my, inside my basket. If you mix things with different uh, stat traits, will they take separate space? Um, if you have, if you mix things with separate traits, first it'll figure out if you can even, if you can even put it put it into the item. If it can, it'll take a different space. If you if it can be mixed, yeah, space is actually less of an issue. You can have you can have more space for bombs compared to the older series. As you can see I have lots of healing items and lots of bombs because I can and you know all of this. Um but now it makes things with different stats and traits. First oh, for for stats I am not too sure. I think it'll work exactly the same as traits. First it will see if you if you put it onto the item. Then there, then after that, you'll see if it, if it, it can be mixed with any of the older I they can um, mix traits with any of the older traits first. If it can't, it will mix it. It will take that one space. If it can't, it will. Um, what's the best way to say? It? it will just take another space. Now, if um, if, if you're going to have five, it get if you have five or more certain traits. The most bottom one will get fallen out while they add a new one. Much, uh, much like uh, much like Rowena, where um, 
all the uh, traits you want are gonna you're gonna have to keep them try to keep them on the top and um, and then put the ones you want in the bottom. Of course, that's why they had that erasing um, erasing traits option inside your alchemy. So you could so if it wasn't at the bottom if the trait you want to get rid of wasn't at the bottom, you could just erase the one you want and then just put the item in with with the desired trait you want. Um, is there anything guys you want to know uh, about the basket or menu or I guess back to alchemy? I haven't even gone to the battle system yet, have I? <laughs> that that kind of goes to show how uh, how unimportant the battle system is. Um, Yosh, atelier ni modori yo. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm, I was going to go do that anyways. I'm going to pick, I'm just going to pick someone up real quick. Okay, Wow, really? Oh wow, really? I haven't seen this event either? It, this this kind of goes to show how how I uh, how I um, how I um, no this, I actually uh, did we go this not, I think we really just expect a lot that's all. Fuck! I went to the wrong place. Okay, close enough. Okay, there we go. Alright, I'm gonna go to the map and explain the uh, explain how to gather stuff and stuff. And all that other stuff. I'll just go into some random um, random dungeon. Um dungeon? Dungeon! Because it has more space, it has more stuff inside the dungeon. Oops, too far back, too much backup one. Yosh! Alright, I'll gather the I'll explain the gathering system now. It's uh, unlike the older series. Oh actually this one's kind of like a this one is an old gathering gathering system. You go to item and the item to gather is randomized, as you can see, randomized right here. Uh so there is no selection, but because all the uh, raw ingredients have the same traits. You don't have to worry about the uh, randomized traits as much. Also, your party members will help you gather items. So, it's the same. I will go to a different slot. Um, I'll go to. Whoops. As you see, I'll go to gather item. First, you just hit circle. You just be sitting there gathering items. Monsters will not attack you or anything. Or more like uh, they'll probably be on top of you, but they won't. They won't attack you until you're done. And then you, I believe, uh, all gathering items have three charges into them. So you gather once. As you see, all my party members has gathered one different item. As well as one for your uh, not Miru, uh, Asha herself. Um, and then, and remember, these are all randomized items. The party member gather uh, may not occur, as you saw, that Neo did not gather an item for me. So, but uh, Asha will always gather at least one item. As you see, uh, the Neo decided to be uh, decided to be pain in the ass and not to get, not gather another item. Oh, that's the uh, that's pretty much the gathering for you. Oh, 
go to show how much I have done in this video. Let's go to the next one. Alright, is there anything you guys need to know about the uh, gathering or uh, other stuff like that? I'll wait on that one. Um, mostly to be the low hundreds. Um, cancel. I did not really plan on that. I didn't really care. Besides, I'm skipping it so so fast. That how you, how you seriously get spoiled by this? Besides, there's no real, there is absolutely no, and there is no real save you can have that will not have a spoiler in it for uh, Asha because, um, yeah. Because you'll definitely, you'll definitely see some kind of event. Alright, I guess I'll go through the battle system. I'm gonna have to go through a different map because this, uh, oops. Oh, that works. I'm gonna go to a different map. Man, that's that's really dumb. Okay, um, cancel. That was cancel. This, the events that showed up in the so far today they're not main main story main main story spoilers. Oh, stop there! Stop there! I am not moving my mouse, I actually had I actually had to use the mouse. Fine I'll move the mouse. Yosh! Gambate go! Oh, okay, yeah, now I remember that now I remember where that area is. Okay. Alright, I guess I'll go to the uh the uh battle the battle system. First of all, Battle system is pretty simple. Um, you're pretty much you're pretty much in a round. You're pretty much like in a circle in a circular area. Maybe I should use an item that uses uh, full full range. Uh, this one, as you can see, all my party when you initially start, all your parties are are spread out. Your if there, it's uh, four slots. Like this is one slot here. This is one slot here. One slot here, and the last slot over here. Yes, this is default music. And your enemies will all be inside the center. The enemy's uh, location in the center is uh, pretty much randomized. It's pretty much randomized. Your party can move around in any of these four slots. Like, there's one, like I said, there's four slots. Your party can move into any one of these four slots. That's the basic movement system where unlike in us, the older series where it's just kind of you're kind of just facing your enemy this one uh, positioning can matter then I'll go through the um, other stuff uh, typical HP HP MP for for usage uh, Asha that you use your MP for combat reasons not for alchemy reasons and then your special gauge also there's the assist gauge where uh, your, your um, your party might can assist each other. And uh, yeah, everyone has it. Uh, Asha now, uh, in this version, uh, Asha has her own... Um, 
Astra has her own has her own assist, but unlike unlike everyone else, Astra does unlike Astra Astra has no special. I'll go through the um, actual stuff on here. Uh, this is basic, basic uh, Koki uh, attack. This is your skills. Uh, they all do something different. I am not going to go through every single skill because you know that's pretty dumb. And then uh, I haven't unlocked it yet. Uh, but and then I haven't unlocked it. There's a special skill which I'll uh, I'll, do, I'll do later. Your special uh, will uh, reset every every single after every battle. So if you so uh, once you finish the battle, your special will go to zero, and so does your assist will default back to one. And this one is movement. You move around. You go. To, you cannot move to the one in the back. You can move to the one to the left and right. And like I said, position is important. They this takes time. So you will after you move, you will you have to wait for her next turn. So I'm just going to go ahead and just do some attack. Get that special going. Yes, yes, get that. <laughs> As you see, there's a... Um, here we go. As you see, these are... Um, there are also guards, much like that. This is also position... This is also... This is also uh, position in... Uh, position in... Space. Uh, uh, I don't think she has a uh, wide range of wide range attack. Okay, here we go. This, uh, like I said, the position in this game is absolutely important. Like here, as you see, some of these enemies are to the back of her. That means when they attack, they'll, they'll trigger a back attack, which will do more damage. Also, uh, positioning also occur also important with three characters, as uh, certain positioning will uh, give you different assists. Like right now, if if Asha had uh, had one assist, if I had used this, I, I could, she could she could attack one time or use a back attack, which will go back to, uh, to, to which will go to their back and attack their back. The of course there are advantages, disadvantages. Let's say let's say all my parties were stacked together right now. If Asha had used a healing item. Uh, he'll heal all of them. He'll heal everyone within that within that position. So let's say that deal was all the way back here too. If Asha had used a healing item, it, it will heal all of them at one time. Likewise, if they had if your if your enemy had used a, an AOE based uh, attack, it will hit them all at the same time. So this uh, it's all up to you how you how you use it. And the more you have together, the more. The more uh, beneficial your uh, buffs, debuffs, and heals be, also likely the, the closer, the more they, the more gather they are, the more damage you can possibly take. Um, is there anything you need to know? To tell you about positioning. Here you go. See that's an AoE attack. I don't know why I use that for, but okay. You see, she, she used an AoE attack, so that means all of them got hit one time. I'm gonna move her there, and hopefully they'll use another AoE attack. Or not. Yes, there is still benefits to having multiple, multiple characters to one slot. Like I said, uh, if you use uh, heal, if you, like I said, if you use uh, beneficial items uh, with more characters in it, you would uh, you ha you get you get more out of that beneficial item. Likewise, uh, you you can you get hit you more people get hit by AOE based attack.
right here. This is, this is the special boss. Except, uh, I don't think anyone's low enough to be hit by that. Is there anything guys, you guys want to know? Oh yes, the assist, the assist uh, bar is stacked only up to up to a maximum of five. So once uh, once you reach five, there is absolutely no reason to not use it. Oh wow, okay, that's how low he is. Oh, it's gonna come up. Um, okay. No, she doesn't have anything like that. Like I said, Miru, Miru super assist super required having more having, having more items stacked. Like I said before, bombs and uh, bombs and items do not bombs and healing items do not have anything. Yes, you can use the assist system when they're not in the same position. They will all do something different. If they're all in the same position, let's say, let if they're all in the same position, um, all they only do is guard. I mean, some of them have something different. They're in a different slot. They will do something different. The about depending, it depends on how much assist you have. I believe two is back users of one, of one assist. No, you cannot assist guard if they're at, at the absolute opposite uh, field. You have to be left guard, guard someone. You have to be at the left or right to that to that character. Oh, I didn't know she shows up on here. Is there, guys, is, is there anything you guys want to know in particular about the battle system? Did you see it here? Did you can see the same position on the guarder. Guarding will. Guarding with a uh, party member will also give him some some number of um, when you guard can you determine when you, when you stop guarding. I don't know what you, I don't know what you mean. Guarding was always an option. Guarding was kind of an always an, always been a sub option. Oh, that. Uh, no. Once you guard, uh, once you guard, you guard once, and then uh, that's how that's how it is. There's no real attack in order. There's hunting. Oh, what was I saying? There is an attack in order. It, it's, all, it's, it's all dependent on the uh, timing. You can't, you can't, you can't really control the order. <laughs> like you see, I could have guarded because she was too far away. I'm just gonna keep moving her back and forth. This is too OP. <laughs> Um, items, um, 
it's uh, it's super crucial. You could use them at uh, any position to any character. Like here, I'm gonna use the my, uh, my cupcake on her, I guess. Miss Paul won't do anything. As you see, she has a different different assist when she's far away. Also, this also occurs to attack if they're in a different slot when they're attacking. If they have enough assists, they can uh, use it. How far are we? As you see here, I'm going to use her now. Oh shit, I hope that's not going to be far. See, that was an assist that was the, that was an assist attack. I thought they had more HP. Of course, there's the simple I'm gonna staff you and I can attack first. When you do that, I believe all your party members is in one is in uh, one one slot. Which is generally more advantage as that's usually usually more advantage dependent on the uh, attack uh, depending on the matchup. Most of the time you want them separated, but having them together is not a bad idea either. Like for example, I'm just going ahead and uh randomly attack one of the dragons. And use that back attack. Yeah, she has her own gather system during that. There's nothing really to explain that. Yes, that is true. Buffer. It will let me know that it will let me get fire during battle. I don't see why not. No, she just is not really much about catching up. Kore de shiboto no nori tsu mo suko. Doko ni? 
we go, Kana? Is you guys you want to know in particular? Like, I'm not, we're gonna go into the story. I am not gonna fight that wizard, not with this party. And I'm doing a Q&A, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not fighting that damn wizard. You fight, you fight that in your own time, I Explain diary. Oh yeah, the diary. Um, I had to go back to town for that. I uh, definitely not saving. Actually, I should just load. I'll just load back to the town. That would be easy. Alright, uh, for all the, all your alterators will have one diary. Diary is important. This, the diary is meant for story progression. I see, see, oh, there's, no, there's actually no way I can open that diary without doing any spoilers. That's the problem. Okay. Um, the diary is, uh, is, all, is for all your memory stuff. For your side, for your side, uh, side quests and your main, main story. You have to, to use, to use um, the, to use them, you get these points. I points, points. Here we go. Points. Memory points. As you see here, I got uh, two thousand one hundred and fifty-three points. I don't know what happened to this. Uh, this slime or whatever. And you use them to, uh, I guess, in a sense, unlock memories. When you unlock memories, you get bonuses, and those bonuses will help you. I'm not too sure what else to do. To get more entries in your diary, naturally you kinda just have to play the game. Like, what kind of bon bonuses? Like, extra CP, uh, better stats, um... Uh... I think you, got, I think you also get experience out of it too, but I'm not sure about that. I think I also get more experience out of it too, but I'm not too sure about that. Is there uh you guys wanna know anything else in particular? Uh the diary is pretty the diary is pretty important, but there isn't really much to explain about it. It holds all your uh important scenes I suppose in a sense. And then you get these points which you do by uh, doing requests, um, making items, doing certain stuff. And then you, you do that, yeah. And then uh, I guess I should go through the notes. As you see, there are all these notes. These, um, like, sample. These are DLC dungeons. All these notes are uh, like, say, let's say they're like quests you have you could do next. Like, uh, how how can you how can you progress through the story? Like here, this one kind of needs all the endings. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna bother that. These are all the quests you can do, like uh, backlogs of sort. And the next tab is all the quests you have done or haven't done. This is pretty much the uh, everything, like every all your quests. And this one's like a diary of which one you've already got or finished. And this one is kind of like your uh, not really important flyers. I'm not sure. What, I'm not sure why you use these flyers for. So just kind of pick them up and just use them. I kind of just pick these up and never use them. I never really got. I never knew why what was so important about these. Do you still you guys want to know? Yeah, pretty much. You write. You, you have to see the event first, then you write the diary. I guess that's the best way of explaining it. No, I don't think anyone's listening to me. Alright, I think uh, I think that's it. Is there any more questions you guys want to know in particular? Oops. I'm gonna guess not, so I'm gonna end that here. Uh, I'm not fighting that. I am. I am not fighting that mini brother. I'll fight. I'll fight. I'll fight the fucking dragon. Give me a second. I got open. I have to open. I'll have to open that. Uh, I'll open that safe there. This one probably. 
Fine, I'll, fi I'll fight that damn dragon. Oh, you want me to use that theme too? I'm not. I had to be sure which, uh, which, uh, which, uh, which battle system. I can't, I, I, did I pass it already? These are all events. Events. Char characters. Here we go. Not sure how to be sure which one it is. I think it's this one. What about the background music? Yes, you can't put you can't put multiple uh, multiple background music at, like a roulette. Actually, I don't think you can. Oh wait, yes you can. No, you can't. Yes, yes, now remember, yes you can, yes you can. Yeah, you can't put you can't put multiple music into one into one thing. Mm. Alright, uh, fine. I'm gonna fight this dragon and, uh, and then LO will be like all day happy all stuff and I'm gonna cry like a bitch. Okay? Uh, let's check my items. You know what? I don't even care. I'm probably gonna lose anyways. Alright, let's see what happens. 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 これが究極の錬金術。え、誰だろうと手加減しない。天啓の力を解放します。
僕と味わえ
集中これでバッチリウィルベル様の大魔法とくとみなさいなんとかしないとこれをいつまでも好きにはさせないうなんとかしないと正義の力見せてあげる私を本気にさせてしまったようね<笑>私を怒らせたこと後悔させてあげる俺には聞かんどうこの痛みその身に刻み込め<笑>程度の攻撃次は負けないから
So yeah, that's that's pretty much the battle system in a nut in a big nutshell. Uh, in one long term. Um, is there guys you guys want to know in in particular? Before you ask, I kind of forgot. I kind of forgot if uh, money carries over, and I would have to start a new game. Oi, oi, that last attempt was nothing. Yes, every a different characters have different unique ac assist actions. I'm gonna leave that to you guys to find out what they do because that's a lot of that's a lot of work to do. Um, I think that's it. Unless you guys have any more questions, uh, um, I'm gonna stop there pretty much. I don't know. Anyways, um, yeah, that boss is a bit of a dose. It kind of heals when when it attacks, and I really would have to increase. I really would have really had to apply myself to beat it. This game is not hard. Straight up, not hard. If you if you go for just story. Now, if you want if you really want to beat like that dragon, I just I just fought. Um, it would take some work, but you could, it, it's still pretty easy. No. DLC's characters are not worth it. Uh, it's just really there for, for looks. Okay, I think uh, that's it. So it's it. I don't think there's any more questions. I... Kenzo, I think that's just for you. Um, I'm gonna end here. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, um, oh, you can upload this uh, Q and A up to your up to your channel too. Since you know people are like kind of begging for any information about Asha. Well, whatever. I'll, I'll leave that. To, I'll I'll leave that to him. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop there. Thanks for watching. Um, I don't know if we'll be doing it anymore. Uh, it depends on you guys. I don't think we have any of us actually bought any new games. All right. Uh, thank you. Uh, hope you watch the next one. I guess.